In this tutorial, we will model a caster wheel. So typically, we would draw the parts individually and then constrain them together in an assembly file. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll just draw all the parts into a single part file. So let's start with the frame of the caster wheel. So we'll start a 2D sketch and we'll select the X Z plane. Have a look at this from the top view. And we'll use the circle tool from the origin and we'll draw in a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeters. Then we'll go on 3D model and we'll extrude that profile, rotate that, we'll extrude that again by 50 millimeters. Let's put in a fillet um, of, yeah, let's do five millimeters on this edge here. Okay. Looking good so far. And then we want to offset a plane. So we'll offset plane and we'll do this from the YZ plane. We'll offset that by 32 millimeters. Click on that plane and create a 2D sketch. And here we'll draw a two point uh, rectangle. The height of this will be 45 millimeters and the width will be 38 millimeters. Let's go ahead and position that. So let's project this geometry and then we can use the collinear constraint between that projected line and the top line of our rectangle. And then we can use the dimension tool and dimension between the uh, side line here of our rectangle and the end point of this projected line here. And here the dimension will be six millimeters. So the cylindrical part has a diameter of 50 mil, the minus 38 mil from that, which is the uh, length of the, rec the width of the rectangle. And then we divide that by two. So 12 divided by two, that's six. That's then fully constrained. We'll go on 3D model. I will extrude, select that profile. We'll flip the direction and we will extrude that two and we will select this face here. And as of the preview, that's exactly what we're after. Press OK. I just want to hide that plane, so we're going to right click on it and I'm going to hit V on the keyboard, which is visibility and take that out. Next, we want to cut away a part of this profile. So let's start a 2D sketch and we'll do this on the XY plane. That's correct. And I'm just going to hit F7 on the keyboard. So yeah, we can look at uh, what, exactly what we're drawing on. We we'll draw a line from this line here to the corner point, to this corner point, and then we'll close the sketch. We'll dimension between this corner point and this top line here is 10 millimeters. Then we have a fully constrained uh, sketch. We'll 3D, uh, 3D model and we'll extrude. We'll select that profile. We want to extrude cut. We want to extrude it cut in both directions. So we're going to hit symmetric. We're going to hit through all. Then yeah, we're cutting away all of this profile here. We'll press OK. As you can see, all of that uh, geometry there has been cut away. That's great. And now we want to apply a draft angle to this face here. So we're going 3D model and we'll use the draft command. For the pull direction, we'll select this face here. And for the faces to draft, this will be at a 20 degree draft angle, which is suitable for what we're after. We'll select this face here and we'll press OK. And then we'll tidy this up a bit using the fillet command. So let's put an eight mil fillet, which is quite sharp for this edge here. That looks good. We'll add another fillet of five millimeters. We'll select this edge, this one, arc, edge here, and then this edge. Yeah, that's looking good. Select OK. And next we need to use the shell command. So we'll shell. Select remove faces and we'll select the automatic face chain command. So make the workflow a bit more efficient. We'll do a thickness of 2.5 mil. Then we'll select this face here. And because we have automatic face chain selected, it's gone and selected all three uh, of these faces here, which is correct. We want those to be removed. We'll hit OK. Looking nice. Let's do our through hole uh, on this face here. So this will be for the pin and for the wheel. To do this, I'm going to project this arc here. And I'm going to use the circle geometry uh, on this center point here for a 10 millimeter diameter circle. I'm going to extrude cut. I'm going to select through all. OK. OK, so that's the frame complete. We now need to put in the caster wheel. So we will revolve this. So to do this, we need to input a plane. 
And we'll do this parallel to an existing plane and through a point. So we need to identify uh, that point. So I'm going to turn on, uh, so I'm going to edit the sketch uh, of these through holes and I'm going to input a point, the center of this circle. I'm going to finish the sketch there. I'm going to turn on that sketch. So I'm going to right click and hit visibility. And now we can see that point there. So let's go and input our plane. We'll do parallel to plane through point, parallel to the, which one is it? It's the YZ plane. And then the point, I'll we'll select this point here. And as we can see, that plane's in the correct position. This is the plane in which the axis and our cross sectional profile of the wheel will lie on. So let's select that plane 2D sketch. I'm going to hit F7 on the keyboard once again. There we go. I'm going to turn off uh, that sketch that we no longer need. I'm also going to hide the visibility for the plane we're working on. We don't need to see that. I'm going to project uh, these two arcs here. I'm going to use the center points of these lines to input a center line. So this will be the axis of revolution. I'm just going to trim away that line there. There we go. I'm going to put in a lock constraint on that line. I don't want that to move. And then we can begin to draw the cross-sectional profile of our caster wheel. So let's set the line tool. Draw a straight line just roughly down here like so. Then we'll put in a three point arc starting at the end point of that line. Again, just roughly over here, we'll use a radius of 40 mil. Then we'll draw in a straight line coming down. So we're drawing that at 10 mil. And then we'll come across uh, to be on par with the origin. So that's looking good. Then we'll just draw a straight line coming all the way up finish off that profile. I'm going to dimension between this line here and this line here at one millimeter. And I'm going to put a fillet in um, of let's say five millimeters on these two lines here. Okay, and then I want to mirror um, this line, this arc, this line, this arc and this line, I'm going to mirror them around our center line here, press OK. And that's the cross sectional profile of our wheel. So all we need to do now is to revolve. We'll select those two profiles. And for the axis, this line here, preview looks good. Okay. And there we have our wheel. It's looking nice. I'm just going to change the appearance of some faces here. So I'm going to hold down control, select these faces, change those appearances to, let's say, red. Let's do our through hole on the wheel now. So we'll select this face 2D sketch. I'll project this geometry here so we can use its center line, sorry, center point. Draw an 8 mil circle here on 3D model. I'll extrude that profile. I want to extrude cut. I want to go through all, going all the way through the wheel. There we have our through hole. Looking good. Now we need to input our pin. So for this again, we'll use the revolve command and we'll do this on the plane which we input earlier. So we'll do a new sketch. I'm going to hit F7 directly at the plane we're drawing on. And I'm going to use the same tactic as before. So I'm going to take these two arcs, project them, and I'll draw a line between the center point of both these arcs. There'll be our axis of revolution. I'm going to put a uh, offset that line, sorry, by four millimeters. I'm going to put a lock constraint on the center line there. Come over to one side, zoom in a little, and let's use the line tool. Extend this line here by four millimeters. I want to select this line here, check that line, use a three point arc, start at the end of this line, position it on the projected line. We'll input a rad of seven mil. Okay, we can't input a rad of seven mil. Let's try that again seven millimeters, that's good. And then let's use the dimension tool between the end point of that line and this line here. Do that two millimeters. There we have uh, what would be the dome of our, of our pin. So let's put a mirror line in the center here and put that exact geometry on the other side. So let's select the line tool, come in at the center point of this line, doing this line. Now we use mirror, mirror, this arc and this line. 
We'll mirror them about. Mirror line here, press apply. That's looking good. Out of the construction line. We'll project this line as well, like we did on the other side. And that completes the profile. 3D model, revolve. Select this profile, center profile, this profile here. But for the axis, we'll select our axis here. Okay. And there we have our pin in the center. It's looking good. We'll select those two domes. Again, I want to put on them a red appearance. Try that again. Yeah, there we go. And the last feature to add to this is the uh, mounting plate which is on this plane here. So let's create a 2D sketch. This from the top plane. Rotate that 180 degrees. And we use a two point centered rectangle. Start at the origin there. The width will be 80 and the height will be 60. Let's put in some 8 mil fillets between these lines here. And let's 3D model and extrude that profile. But let's only extrude that by, let's say, sheet metal 2.5 mil. And good. Then we'll input our mounting holes. So these would typically be slots on a caster wheel. For this, we'll use the center to center uh, slot command. So for distance, we'll use eight millimeters for the, let's see the diameter dimension. So we'll enter 10 dimension between the top line and this line. We've got five mil dimension there. The center point of this arc and this line here. Uh, let's do, let's say 10 mil. Let's use the line command and draw in some mirror lines. So draw in a vertical line and a horizontal line. Select both those lines, put them as constructions. Select the mirror tool again. Select our slot, mirror it uh, about the vertical mirror line. The two slots, it will select those two slots, mirror those about a horizontal line. Apply. We have the four slots available. Got a 3D model. We'll extrude those four slots. We want to cut them. And uh, we can either extrude them by 2.5 mil, or I prefer to extrude two a face. Select this face here, press OK. There we have our four slots in position there. And that is our complete caster wheel. If you have any questions about this part, please ask in the comments section. I'll reply as soon as I can. Aside from that, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.